Hello, John Miles here, and I'm going to show how to use the Iris camera with the software Digicam Control. And to start with, um, I've done this a couple of times here. This hopefully will go okay. Um, the previous time I did this, um, I just want to show what ended up. There's this folder Digicam Control, and I named the session by the name of this folder, and it created the folder. And as you can see, it has put, it has saved all the pictures I took with the session name, the date, and the time, and a sequence number. So now what I'm going to do, I set that aside for just a minute. This is what the software looks like once you start it, the screen here. And then what I do, I like to start the software first, but I have this here and I'm going to change the angle of the camera. And um, with this camera, the D70S, the USB socket is at the bottom on the left hand side. And I usually use an extension cord, but I have a, a, a plug for it here. You can see the connector type. And the wider end goes at the top, and it goes in like this. And now, once I turn it on, the computer will recognize it. So I, I'm going to turn this on. There it's on. And you can see the setup. And now sometimes the uh, older cameras are not automatically recognized, like in this case. And so to uh, start, you have to go to camera and refresh camera list. <clears throat> then it'll find it and it shows a little picture of what it, what it looks like. And all the settings are here. And these are some of the pictures I recently took with this camera. So now what I'm going to do is um, just go ahead. Oh, um, about the session. Yeah, this is the most important part right here, um, which I will uh, explain right now. What happens is you go, um, there should be another screen, you go to the session and well, we're in a current session. Let's see what the current session is. All right. Oh, yeah, it remembered. I already set this up. So what happens is um, I tell it what folder to use. And um, I also give a name to the session, D70S. Now, normally you would put client name there, like Joe Smith. And then when each uh, file name template shows how each picture is stored, it'll be that, whatever this is. And again, it's normally the client name. And I use first last. You can do last first. And then um, underscore. And then it'll show the date that picture was taken. And it'll also show the time. And to change it, you click on this three dot icon. And here you can see I clicked on session name. And then uh, I clicked on the year date format. This one, um, which one? This one here. That one. And then I put in the time as well. So that was I don't care about seconds. So it's right here. And those are shown up here, and it remembers it as long as you don't um, uh, close out the program. And I left it open because it takes a little bit of time to get going. Anyway, that's how you, that's the great thing about this program. It'll give each picture that you take and store it on the hard drive with a name according to your template. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I will try this out. Uh, sometimes kind of tricky to get your own um, iris picture on manual focus. Also, uh, the, the camera is a little bit older, and sometimes um, this picture-taking button doesn't work, and I have to use the space bar 
or click on um, the aperture icon at the upper left. But let's try this first. So I'm going to turn on the light and get in a good range here. Okay, so I take the picture. Now again, I think with this camera, even though it noticed the picture was taken, it zero megabytes per second. It doesn't actually like it, um, that method. So now I'm going to uh, write down here, and I don't know I put it there on the keyboard, that I'm going to take the picture just by uh, pushing the space bar. Let's get to the right position. There. And then what happens is it will automatically bring the picture in. And that's not bad focus for guessing. And uh, then I can, you know, take a couple more if I want a slightly better focus, although that's about as good as I usually get. That was taken with pushing the camera button, and it'll probably show up uh, like this as an icon. I'll take one more, and this time I'm using the space bar. And uh, get that light right there. There's a trick to taking your own eye picture. Okay. Now, let's see how that one came out. See, that's better focus. And I just run the wheel to dial in to zoom, and then I can pan. Uh, and you can choose other pictures. So the idea is you take a picture of each eye. Actually, I take about five or six of each eye because one of them will be better with less glare, more visibility, and good brightness. Um, now, again, it stored those pictures I just took in this folder, which you can see right here, um, and it gave it a name. These are the two I just took. See, it says 1714 and 1715. So that's like uh, seven, you're two hours ahead. It's 515. That was a quarter after seven. Your time, the camera time. And that's how easy it is. And uh, yeah, and also it, it will create a folder if you. Um, don't name one to store them, and it'll be the session name. Now, there's one other thing to check out, and that is uh, the brightening of the picture. If it's not bright enough, like with the brown iris, sometimes you have to hit the exposure compensation, which is right here. There's a small um, button with a plus and a minus on it, and you, you use that to make it brighter or darker, the plus or minus button. And the way you use it is you press that button and you uh, will see it says plus two here. And then you roll this uh, to the left, will increase it to plus three. Okay, here, let me hold it down. Plus three, kind of hard to see. Oh. <clears throat> now it's on plus four. Okay, so now if I take a picture, uh, it'll be a brighter. All right, so I'm going to come in here. Ah, sometimes the camera gets too tired. Uh, sometimes you can take it with this button. We'll hold that. There. That's the usual way from the computer. I don't know how good the focus, yeah, the focus wasn't very good, but you can see it's a bit brighter and down here in the thumbnails. And so that's what you would do if you were doing a dark brown eye. However, um, for uh, for the blue iris, I would just use plus two or so. So I'm gonna press that down. Now it's on plus four. And I'm gonna roll this. There's um, 2.0 right now. All right, so that's how you brighten a picture for prepare for a brown iris by ramping that up. So it's a two finger step. While you press this plus or minus button, you roll the thumb wheel. To the left will increase the number, and to the right will decrease it. And I usually use plus 2.0.
it'll go to plus 5 and negative 5. And I never use the negative numbers, just the plus numbers. And that's basically it. Um, you do have to remember to keep turning that off uh, when you're not using it. The battery will run down. But otherwise, this is how you uh, use the camera. And if you have a chin rest, you know, it's even easier to work with the monitor. And, of course, when you're taking someone else's eye, you can get a perfect focus. But I do usually take about six pictures of each iris, and that's what I recommend. All right. Uh, this is the aperture icon up here in the upper left is the picture taking button. So, for example, if I point it at something here, um, it'll take a picture once I um, click on that button and I just pointed it at a piece of paper. And uh, like I said, that also shows up in this folder over here. So with the same name of the camera and the date and time. So, so use it and hope that's useful. It's about 11 minutes.